Hey, I'm Catherine Brill Jr. I wrote a story called The Chicken and the Egg for the uh, Edible City Anthology. Uh, it's about a time that I picked up a chef at a bar and brought him home and uh, instead of getting what I thought I was going to get, I got a lesson in how to trust a chicken. Um, and because we did not get biblical as it were, I thought I would make um, stuffing for you today. cornbread sausage stuffing and uh, as is the basis for most recipes it requires um, about two and a half cups worth of onions which I'm going to chop for you right now and uh, if you do it quick enough you won't start to cry unless you're very sad about something else oh it's an onion fiesta all right so there's your boatload of onions to begin with and um, like any decent recipe should have a, a lot of butter. So I'm gonna put about, um, this is, the whole recipe calls for a stick and a half of butter. So this is half of a stick and a half, which is three quarters of a stick of butter, which I'm gonna stick in this pan and we'll let it melt. And you're using the butter obviously for the flavor because uh, it, in case you've never had butter, it's something that tastes very good in a recipe. Oh God, <laughs> that looks good. And in fact, as that's melting, if you are someone who is a good multitasker, um, this would be a time to chop one of the essential ingredients in this recipe, uh, which is apples, as it is an apple cornbread sausage stuffing. The recipe calls for um, the apples to be peeled, like the original recipe that I adapted it from, but because of, you know, sort of uh, the sexy color of this particular apple, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the peel on. You take out the, uh, the centers of them like this. And if you happen to lose a finger, then more protein for you and your guests. So you want to add the onions like this. And what you want to do is move them around and kind of flip them over, which I'm doing very unsuccessfully right now, and splattering. Uh, so the apples are going to be cooking in the rest of the butter. So what you've done is you've taken a stick and a half, divided that up, so three quarters of a stick per. Stick that in the pan. Again, you're doing this for flavor. All right, so the butter is foaming, and the rest of it will eventually melt, so we can just go ahead and add these apples. So it's about this, actually the same, uh, same quantity as the onions, about two and a half cups, which is two medium apples, about. The next crucial ingredient of the apple cornbread sausage stuffing is uh, sausage and you kind of just want to get your like a standard uh, a standard sausage in its casing still and uh, you're going to need about six sausages of this size which you want to take out of their casing as such so just kind of do a slit down them they're dead already so you're not hurting them ah it feels so good All right, final sausage casing is being removed. This reminds me of something. My father, when cooking, he likes to be dramatic um, and spit in the pan to see if it's uh, to see if it's actually, which I'm not going to do because it's kind of gross. But you just kind of want to you want to flick some water in there, and if it turns into little beads and you hear the sizzle, then you know your pan's ready, um, and just dump them into the pan. Okay, I'm just bra breaking up the sausage. You don't want obviously giant sort of rods of sausage in your in your stuffing. You want to get it to kind of a ground hamburger kind of consistency. So just keep stabbing at it until it's in, it's in kind of a pebbly form. It's good, it sort of feels like you're destroying um, several men at the same time when you do this. Uh, so you're going to need three different types of bread. Obviously cornbread, as it is an apple sausage cornbread stuffing. Cornbread. You also need um, whole wheat bread. We're going to do the many, the many textures and flavors of bread in this recipe. And white bread. And you want three and a half cups of each. So just tear it up. Just, just who cares? Just tear it up. It doesn't matter. It's all going to go in the food processor anyway and become increasingly destroyed. So I'm gonna do the whole wheat first, like this. And just blitz it like this. 
Boom. Done. I'm sorry that I'm doing this to you. You southern delicacy. There we go. Oh, look at you fighting for life. So uh, your three cooked ingredients, the apples, the onions, and the sausage, once they're all done, just transfer them into the bowl, a large mixing bowl, like these. See that nice color that we got on the onions there? You want it to be like that. So just transfer those into the bowl along with the onions. They're all gonna live together like a harmonious and delicious family. And you wanna toss it around so that they co-mingle. So then you just wanna add the, uh, the breadcrumbs that you have prepared into, the, into your apples and sausage. And also onions like this. Make sure those are nicely coated. Add your cornbread. And there, that's the main base for the apple cornbread sausage stuffing. All right, so the last step, very simple. You want a cup and a half of shelled pecans, which you're just gonna add to the mixture. You wanna season with a goodly amount of sea salt, like this. That's probably not enough. That is probably enough. And then your last hit of pepper. The last bit, all you want to do is take a little bit of um, parsley, about a uh, half a cup, and chop it up. A coarse chop is totally fine. And now there are two things you can do. If you have a bird and you feel like fisting that bird, then you will take your apple sausage cornbread stuffing and shove it up into the cavity of the bird. Or if you're feeling a bit more puritanical, um, what you want to do is uh, cook it in kind of a double boiling implement like this, so an empty casserole dish. Um, with a larger casserole dish underneath that the, uh, the, the initial casserole dish is sitting in. Um, and then you're want, gonna wanna put boiling water into the dish so that it cooks at an even temperature. And then transfer all of your stuffing into the casserole dish like this. And if you don't think that looks delicious, you are a fool. So you want to heat the oven to uh, 325 degrees Fahrenheit and then keep it in there for about 35 to 45 minutes. All right, so it's been about uh, 45 minutes, so we're going to go pull it out of the oven now. Where it looks like I managed to not completely destroy it, which is good. <laughs> not like everything else in my life. As an added flourish, what I usually like to do is chop up a little bit more parsley and garnish the stuffing with it, just for a little bit of flair. And that is your apple sausage cornbread stuffing. Uh, completely impossible to fail at unless you're a complete fool, which I am, so completely impossible to fail at. And there is your apple sausage cornbread stuffing. Mother <laughs> <laughs>